Union County Assemblyman Jamel Holly says neighboring Newark needs help in a big way to address lead in its drinking water. As a neighboring elected official who represents the entire state, I'm not going to idly sit by. I'm going to raise the issue and we're going to try to help with humanitarian efforts. And at the point that these levels have shown to grow bigger than what they are, I'm asking and suggesting that the governor come in and call a state of emergency. Holly says as the former mayor of the borough of Roselle, he reached out to Newark Mayor Raz Baraka. You know, I'm not going to get into the conversation um, that the mayor uh, had. Um, I've been a mayor before, and when you're under an immensely amount of pressure, you say things and you do things. The Barack administration issued a statement that did not respond to NJTV News' direct request for comment on a state of emergency declaration, nor Holly's outreach for Newark. On Monday, Holly's Facebook page asked for donations of water. A day later, another posting showed a drop-off at the Elizabethport Presbyterian Center, the same center that raised and drove donations to Flint, Michigan three years ago. Today we had uh, nine cases of water starting our drop-off by uh, Kim Nesbitt, who owns a uh, funeral parlor. Mm -hmm. And then we had a second cash app from a family member Kim Carter from Set It Off Accessories. Once we get an accumulation, we could just take it take it over to North, and we have people on the ground. We have the, the activist uh, Donna Jackson and Altarish Frazier, and they'll let us know the affected areas. Three centers in Union County now are accepting drop-off donations of water for Newark. Assemblyman Holly says what he's doing is not political; it's humanitarian. How do you slip by idly? You can't. That's not in my heart. Holly says Newark's unresolved lead issue is a matter of leadership. Holly won't point fingers, though. If this were Montclair, if this were Westfield, if this were Milburn, if this were Ridgewood, would the state, would the federal government, would somebody be tolerating this, this what looks like to Newark residents and others, this slow path to correction over the years? Would, would, or would there be something more immediately done? Oh. Something like a Marshall Plan? Oh, no. If this was any other type of community, that didn't have a high number of minority representation there? Of course not. Newark is the tip of the iceberg. Senator Bob Smith chairs the Senate Energy and Environment Committee. He says, yes, the need to address Newark and the rest of the state's water issues is great and boils down to money, but relying on federal help through a state of emergency? And the chances that you're going to get help from the federal government, I believe, are slim to none. I think this is a problem that we have to solve uh, through homegrown resources. For now, Assemblyman Holly is awaiting more water sample test results in Newark before making a formal request to Governor Murphy. Michael Hill, NJTV News.